Hi everyone, myself uh, Dr. Arun. Today we are going to discuss about uh, FM ratio deductor. This is coming under uh, pace discriminator. This is also called as pace discriminator. This is the one of the type of FM deductor. So before entering into this corresponding uh, video, what is the main disadvantage of balanced slope deductor and uh, uh, faster oscillate discriminator? Why we are moving towards ratio deductor that we will discuss then we can move to the exact ratio deductor. Both uh, balanced slope deductor and fast oscillate discriminator. So they are not uh, performing amplitude limiting operation. We need additional circuit to eliminate the amplitude variations before applying towards demodulation process. So that particular disadvantage is eliminated by using ratio deductor. In this ratio deductor, it will perform two operations. One is FM demodulation process and also it will act as a amplitude limiter. That is the main advantage of a ratio deductor. So here in this uh, ratio deductor already mentioned so additionally compare with the fast oscillate discriminator it will act as a amplitude limiter. So to perform that particular operation we made three different changes in this fast oscillate discriminator. So this entire circuit almost 80 percentage is similar like fast oscillate discriminator. So the three changes we have made in fast oscillate discriminator to convert it as ratio deductor. The first change is direction of diode D2 is reversed. Okay. So D1 and D2 here you can see the diode D2 is reversed. The second change is the large capacitor uh, the C9 has been included in the circuit. C9 is the extra uh, capacitor included in the circuit then generally we will take the output as across the two output side but here we are taking from different points in between capacitor and resistor these are all the three changes we made in ratio deductor to achieve that amplitude limiting operation and also deduction of message signal from fm modulated signal this entire circuit operation is almost similar with fast oscillate discriminator only. So here the final formula only the slight difference. So the V output is 1 by 2 VD1 minus VD2. So otherwise V output is equal to 1 by 2 V01 minus V02. So this is the, the corresponding final equation of the output of ratio deductor. This particular ratio deductor will also operate and follows as like the characteristics of uh, fast oscillate discriminator. We can achieve a S shape curve the characteristics for uh, FM demodulator ratio deductor also. Here this ratio deductor is also called as pace discriminator. So that's why here I represented the pacer diagrams also to explain ratio deductor. This uh, the entire pace, uh, pace or representation of uh, fast oscillate discriminator and ratio deductor. This will be explained detailedly in the corresponding fast oscillate discriminator. So we are going to move towards the operation of uh, ratio deductor. The ratio deductor used to convert instantaneous frequency variation into instantaneous amplitude variation. Whatever may be the frequency variations available in the input side that will be converted as amplitude variation in the output side to deduct message signal from the frequency modulated signal or C9 uh, that means a capacitor C9 retains most of the charges because of the long time constants offering in combined with R3 and R4. So that means R2 and R3 along with the capacitor C9 the time constant is more means it will charge very slowly and also it will discharge very slowly to eliminate 
the amplitude variation present in the corresponding input signal. So in the ratio detector is not affected by the amplitude variation on the FM wave. The output of the detector adjusts itself automatically to the average amplitude of the input signal. C9 charges to sum of voltages across R3 and R2 and because of its time constant tend to filter out the any noise impulses present in the signal. The polarity of the voltage in the lower capacitor is reversed because diode is in the reverse connection. So that's why the capacitor charge will also reverse. Hence the voltage V01 and V02 across two capacitors are added. Okay. Here you can see what, what is the corresponding potential across this corresponding capacitor means. Because of R, R2 and R3 resistor, if you take what is the potential across these two resistors, that potential will be maintained in C9 capacitor. But in this VZ, V output, we are taking at the different point, the net output V output is 1 by 2 V01 minus V02. Now we are going to discuss the three different modes of operation of a ratio deductor. The first mode is we are considering the input signal is unmodulated carrier frequency or input signal is equivalent to your carrier frequency. In that particular situation, the both the tuned circuits are tuned to carrier frequency at resonant condition. Because of the mutual induction, it will generate 0.5 V2 and minus 0.5 V2 at the secondary side. And also the primary is directly connected with secondary. So that potential will be added with the secondary voltage. So V1 plus 0.5 V2 and here also V1 minus 0.5 V2. This is the potential across diode D1 and D2. So now as per this mode of operation, the input frequency is carrier frequency. Potential across diode D1 and D2 both are equal because the tuned circuit is tuned to exactly the carrier frequency. So then current due to the potential of VD1 and also VD2, current generated in the diode D1 and D2 both are equal. In that particular situation, that potential will be measured by using this spacer diagram. So if the input frequency is equal to your carrier frequency, then the pace difference is 90 degree. So this x-axis representing primary voltage and y-axis representing secondary voltage. The pace difference is 90 degree then we can measure the length of the vector VA0 and VB0 both are equal then the input potential across VD1 and VD2 both are equal. So then the resultant output at the carrier frequency VD1 and VD2 are equal hence the net output of the discriminator will be 0. So here uh, in this formula one thing is miss missing 1 by 2 V01 minus V02 so here minus 5 and corresponding plus 5, the resultant output is 0 volt as per the ratio deductor. The second mode of uh, operation, if the input frequency is greater than carrier frequency like FC plus del F, in this particular situation, the carrier frequency is more or input frequency is more based on your message signal positive cycle. We are expecting the positive cycle of the message signal if you are applying high frequency. In this situation, the carrier moves off to one side of the center frequency. The balance condition is destroyed. Already we have discussed this particular point in the phosphor oscillate discriminator. Because of that voltage across one of the resistor being larger than another resistor, so the net output is the difference between two resistors, the V01, the potential across two resistors V01 and V02. So the net output is 1 by 2 is missing here also. 
1 by 2 v0 1 minus v0 2 so here uh, plus 8 is the positive side potential and minus 3 is the negative side potential the potential difference is plus 5 so the result and output is positive so here we can uh, based on this spacer diagram the primary and the secondary potential the pace difference is less than 90 degree so you can see the vector size of VA0 and VB0 the VA0 is greater than VB0 then we are concluding potential across diode D1 is higher than potential across diode D2 then the net output is positive similar manner for mode 3 of operation here the corresponding input signal is FC minus del F FC minus del F so in this corresponding situation when the input frequency is reduced below the carrier frequency below the carrier frequency the phase shift between V1 and V2 is increasing greater than 90 degree so then you can see the vector size you can see the vector size is VA0 and VB0 the here the vector size VB0 is more compared with VA0 then we can conclude the potential across VD1 is more compared with VD the VD2 is more compared with VD1 so the net output is obviously the negative potential so V output is my plus 3 and minus 8 and the net output is minus 5 volt this is the three modes of operation of uh, ratio deductor the ratio deductor also having some advantages and disadvantages so main advantages it will be act as an amplitude limiter reduce fluctuation in the output voltage comparing with the fast oscillator discriminator easy to align better linearity over the frequency range of operation and it is therefore preferred in high quality fm receivers disadvantages it may not tolerate the long period variation in the signal strength it requires automatic gain control this is the two disadvantages there in uh, ratio deductor so the performance comparison of fm demodulators by using different parameters so balanced slope deductor fast oscillator discriminator and ratio deductor so alignment based on the alignment you, you, we are already discussed the three different tuned circuits will be available in the center tab transformer mm -hmm in the balanced slope deductor that's why it is critical in fast oscillator and ratio deductor primary and secondary is tuned to same frequency as fc output characteristics depends on here primary and secondary frequency relationship that's why we are specified balanced slope deductor is coming under frequency discriminator here the primary and secondary pace relation is primary and secondary pace relation is there so that's why it is called as both uh, fast oscillator and uh, ratio deductor is called as phase discriminator linearity of the output characteristics poor in balanced slope deductor very good in fast oscillator discriminator good in ratio deductor based on the amplitude limiting both balanced slope deductor and fast oscillator discriminator it will not prevent amplitude variation we need additional circuit to eliminate the amplitude variation in the ratio deductor prevents the amplitude limiting and also it will perform deduction operation applications of the different deductors not used in practice at present balanced slope deductor fast oscillator discriminator at present all fm radios they are using fast oscillator discriminator fm radio and satellite station receivers we are using fast oscillator discriminator ratio deductor in television communication the tv receiver in the sound section specifically they are using ratio deductor and also narrowband fm receivers we are using ratio deductor this is the overall comparison between three different fm deductors thank you all for uh, for watching this video we will meet again with this uh, some other video so if you like this video comment and share to your friends Thank you.